Hey love, so I'm back to share with you guys basically my empties for winter. This is the third empties videos that I've done. Um, I'll go ahead and link the other empties videos that I've done in the past. So if those of you guys don't know what an empties video is, basically it's just all the products that I've used up within the past couple of months or the past season. And yeah, since I want to be able to throw most of these away, I just wanted to quickly film this with you guys. It's just a way for me to review some items for you guys and if you guys were considering picking them up. Up, maybe you guys would like to try them out too. So the first thing which was actually one of my favorite items for this past winter was my Simple Soothing Facial Toner and um, this was great. It's really great for um, dry sensitive skin like I have but what makes me so so sad it is not available anywhere. I bought mine originally at Target and I loved it and it was a great drugstore price and I was really eager to buy it again but I can't find it anywhere. Um, I think they may have discontinued it, which I'm really upset about because I actually really enjoyed this toner. Um, I definitely would have repurchased it, but I just can't find it anywhere. If any of you guys know where I can get more of this, please let me know. Um, just leave me a comment below because I am dying to get this again because it basically has replaced my body shop toner that I used to use. Um, I just really, really enjoyed this and I'm upset that I can't find it anywhere. Next from the body shop, I have my Aloe Protective Serum. So I talked about this um, in a past skincare video and um, that video was so long ago that you guys know how long this actually lasted me. So this is basically just a serum. You put your serum on after your toner and before your moisturizer. And um, this was just really great. You guys know I have dry sensitive skin and it just really helped calm my skin and just kind of repaired and just um, had my skin's natural barrier um, just stay intact basically and my face just felt so refreshed and rejuvenated every time I put this on. So I'm considering repurchasing this but the thing is since I don't get my um, aloe soothing toner um, from the body shop anymore I'm kind of shopping around basically for different types of serums and I'm considering doing ones that you know um, age prevention and stuff. I know I look generally young but I am 27 now and um, just things like you know just wrinkles and just natural age defense I feel like it's never too early to start well you know unless you're like 15 years old and you don't have to worry about that but um, being 27 I'm considering starting to do more like anti-wrinkle stuff and I'm just looking for new serums to try so if you guys have any recommendations for me be sure to leave them in a comment down below Next I have my Body Shop Aloe Eye Difference and this is an eye cream. So for those of you guys who don't use an eye cream, this is a moisturizer basically just for your sensitive um, under eye area as well as just your whole eye area in general. Um, this part is just a little bit more delicate and can get dry a lot easier so you guys should be using an eye cream on it. So I did really like the Body Shop Aloe Eye Difference. You guys know that the entire um, sensitive skin line at the body shop I did really enjoy but I'm also shopping around for new eye creams since I just like to try new products sometimes and I'm just wondering if there are other things that I could potentially try. So if you guys have any good eye creams for dry sensitive skin that you guys would want to recommend me, um, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Next I have a lip item and this is my Revlon Just Bitten. So this has a felt tip right here and this basically is a lip balm um, and a lip stain. So this side is the lip stain and there is a really nice balm on the other end. It's just a white balm like that. I really, really love this. Was was one of my go-to um, lip colors for the longest time. It's just a really nice um, rosy pink natural looking lip and um, I just really like the way the stain, it really... Um, applied very nicely and it stayed on all day long as a stain should and the balm was really great to just touch up and basically keep re-moisturizing my lips throughout the day so I had the wonderful color and just the nice balm to use throughout the day so this took me quite a long time to finish up but um, I am planning on repurchasing this as well as trying out more of the Revlon Just Been Lip stains and balms because I really do enjoy them. Next I have an eyeliner and this is a NYX felt tip liner. So you guys know I like pen liners like this whenever I am doing my um, cat eye. Um, I just think felt tip liners are just a lot easier to use, especially for me. It's basically just like drawing the cat eye on your eye and I just really like the control I get with pen 
um, liners like this. This one was really great, um, just especially for the price point. It is really good compared to something that is like 20 bucks, like this Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner Pen, which I absolutely love as well. It's just um, if you're not looking to spend too much money, um, this one is a really great alternative. Next, I have a powder. You guys know I use this for a very long time. I've used it in a bunch of past videos. And this is my Neutrogena Mineral Shears Powder Foundation. And as you guys can see, this is an empties video, so I hit pan on it and there's barely any product left. Um, this was really great. It is a really great um, drugstore powder that I found. I found the it applied very nicely. It didn't look too chalky or anything on my face. It just applied really great. And I just like a lot of Neutrogena's products. And you guys know that I use this with my healthy skin foundation um, just to go over top of it. And um, this one, it just matched my skin tone really well and it applied very nicely. So um, I am planning on repurchasing this one, but um, if you guys don't know, I'm trying to use up most of my beauty products before I uh, make any brand new ones. So with the, the other powders that I have currently in my collection, I'm trying to use them up more before I go ahead and repurchase things. And lastly, I have a MAC Studio Care Blend Press Powder. So you guys know how much I love this. I use this in a ton of past videos as well. So it is just like that. It's an empties video. So again, um, I hit pan on it and there's not too much powder left, but I absolutely love this powder. This is my favorite high-end powder. It applies so nicely. It is very nicely and finely milled. So it just feels really great on my face. And this color, um, medium deep, is just perfect for my skin. And again, this is just a really great powder to touch up with throughout the day and um, it just applies so nicely and I absolutely love it. I am definitely planning on repurchasing this after I finish up the current powder that I'm using. Okay guys, so those are all my empties. Again, be sure to leave me new product suggestions in the comments below because I would love to hear what items you guys are loving. And yeah, I guess that is it. Thank you guys as always so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in a later video. Bye guys!